learn how to create your own little hedgehog grass pet. It's really easy and then so easy to take care of to help it grow. Hello and welcome to Fun Sock Creations. My name is Anna and on this channel you'll learn all kinds of DIY projects all using socks. So let's get started on this tutorial. You'll need the following supplies. Head on over to funsockcity.com for all your sock needs, including the ones you'll need for this project. You guys came up with the greatest name for our little hedgehog pet. This is Spike. Thanks for helping us. If you missed out on that poll, make sure you follow us on Instagram or on Facebook. Begin with your sock laying flat and then just cut it right at the ankle line and you can discard that upper piece. Fill the sock with soil. I use just a potting mix until the desired fullness and then shape it the way you'd like and figure out which side will be the top of your grass hedgehog. Then making sure that you're on the top, open it up and place the grass seed just right on the top of that potting mix, making sure not to go onto the face part. I stopped right at that orange line because I knew that was where my face was gonna be. And I did not know how much grass to add, so I added quite a bit and I just kept it on that top section. But if you do have any sprout in a place that you weren't wanting, you can actually just pull those out. Once you have your grass seed in there, you can grab the cutoff ends, wrap them around to the bottom, and rubber band them tightly, and then cut off the excess sock that's left. I spent a little time shaping the face of the hedgehog so I could get the shape that I wanted, especially of the nose. They have the cutest little upturned noses. Then I used fabric paint to first draw the nose on there, right on the upper tip of the nose. Then add eyes. I did some really basic eyes at first, but then I added a little bit of elaboration later on as you can see in this picture. Last, add your mouth, get creative, do whatever you think would look cute. Let your fabric paint set and dry, and then get everything wet. I found it a lot easier to just fill the tray with a little bit of water and then put the hedgehog upside down and let it just soak the water in. This was only on that first time. After that, it was really easy to water it, and I'll show you how. Place your hedgehog in a place where it's warm and sunny, and then if you keep the dirt constantly damp, the water will just soak right into the sock really easily. As the grass started growing and started sending down shoots, I actually put it in a bowl and then would just fill the bowl a little bit with water and the roots would drink it up. This was seriously so fun for me and my kids to watch grow. This one is so easy and it's a great one for kids or anybody who just wants some green in their house but doesn't usually have good luck with plants. We even got to the point where we started giving it haircuts. The kids loved this and honestly, so did I. We started Spike at about mid-February and as you can see, he has a nice root system and he even needed another haircut. He's looking super dapper now and we plan on keeping him as long as possible. So if you take a look at this hedgehog pet, I just barely watered it and I just put the water into the bowl and the water's already beginning to soak up into the dirt through the roots. And just so you know how easy it is to take care of, it's been over a week and a half since I watered it and it still looks and feels great. He needs a haircut again. It's a great plant idea for people who might struggle with growing things like me. And maybe you know somebody like that. Thanks so much for joining Spike and me, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>